Former President Donald Trump took to his social media early Wednesday morning, threatening to prosecute President Joe Biden and his political rivals. This comes as Trump currently stands trial for fraud in New York, where he went face to face with his former attorney and fixer Michael Cohen, who testified against the ex-press. I will soon be leaving for crooked Joe Biden's political opponent court in Lower Manhattan, Trump posted on Truth Social to his 6.4 million followers. I have a very partisan and angry judge, a corrupt attorney general, and am not allowed a jury trial under the statute they have chosen to use, for the very first time ever. The good news, that even the fake news is seeing, is that the facts are all on my side. I built a great company, far bigger and stronger than anyone had assumed. He continued. This is a rigged trial, right out of a banana republic, but sadly, it gives the Republicans the right to do the same thing when we assume office, and remember, crooked Joe Biden is the most corrupt and incompetent. President in the history of the US, very fertile ground there, but very bad for our country. This unfair political witch hunt is causing companies to leave New York at a record pace. They don't want this to happen to them. He declared. The judge in the New York case against Trump, Arthur Engeron, ruled in September that Trump was liable for committing fraud in the state by defrauding banks and insurers while running his real estate empire within the state. Although Judge Engeron already said that Trump and his company committed fraud, the current trial revolves around remaining claims of conspiracy, insurance fraud and falsifying business records. Trump currently faces 91 criminal charges connected to four separate cases brought against him in New York, D.C., Georgia and Florida, all issued over the past seven months. These include charges of conspiracy to defraud the U.S. government, conspiracy against civil rights, obstruction, and withholding and altering documents, false statements and falsifying business records. If he is found guilty of every charge against him, he could be sentenced to over 300 years in prison. Meanwhile, President Biden is facing an impeachment inquiry launched by House Republicans earlier this year. House GOP members accused the 80-year-old commander-in-chief of financially gaining off of his son Hunter Biden's alleged illegal business deals with China and other overseas benefactors. Kentucky Congressman James Comer recently claimed his panel obtained a mountain of evidence against Biden, alleging that the VP-turned-president used his position in Barack Obama's cabinet for his family's financial gain. However, House Republicans have failed to provide adequate evidence to back up their claims.